Welcome to the lesson on the decimal checkerboard. So when we're building our decimal checkerboard, we start off with the king. The king is our unit. It's worth one. If we multiply one by 10, we get 10. If we multiply 10 by 10, we get 100. Or we could say if we multiply 1 by 100, we get 100. If we multiply 100 by 10, we get 1,000. Or we could say if we multiply 1 by 1,000, we get 1,000. We're going to go this way now. If we divide 1 by 10, we get tenths. You notice this blue is lighter blue than our tens? If we divide tenths by 10, we will get hundredths. Or if we divide 1 by 100, we would get hundredths. If we multiply hundredths by 10, we get thousandths. Now we have completed our horizontal version of the decimal checkerboard. Now we're going to do the up and down. So if I multiply 1 by 10, I will get 10. If I multiply 10 by 10, we get 100. If we multiply 100 by 10, we get 1,000. If we divide 1 by 10, we will get tenths. If we divide tenths by 10, we will get hundredths. If we divide hundredths by 10, we will get thousandths. Okay, now we, we have our king and all his rulers, and now we're going to fill in the quadrants. So we're gonna fill in this quadrant first. When we multiply tens by tens, we get hundreds. If we multiply 100 by 10, we will get 1,000. If we multiply 1,000 by 10, we will get 10,000. If we multiply 100 times 10, we will get 1,000. If we multiply a thousand by ten more, or we could say if we multiply one hundred times one hundred, we will get ten thousand. If we multiply ten thousand by ten more, we will get one hundred thousand. I'm going to switch this over a little bit so I can reach. If I multiply a thousand by ten, I will get ten thousand. If I multiply ten thousand by ten, I will get one hundred thousand. If I multiply one hundred thousand by ten, I will get a million. Now let's move over to the other side. If I multiply tenths by 10, I will get one. If I multiply one times 10, I will get 10. If I multiply 10 times 10, I get 100. If I multiply hundredths 
by 10, I will get a tenth. If I multiply tenths by 10, I will get one. If I multiply one times 10, I get tens. If I multiply thousands, sorry, thousandths by 10, I will get hundredths. If I multiply hundredths by 10, I will get tenths. If I multiply tenths by one, I will get one. Now let's move down to here. If I divide 10 by 10, I will get one. If I divide one by 10, I will get tenths. If I divide tenths by 10, I will get hundredths. If I divide 100 by 10, I will get 10. If I divide 10 by 10, I will get 1. If I divide 1 by 10, I will get tenths. If I divide 1,000 by 10, I will get 100. If I divide 100 by 10, I will get 10. If I divide 10 by 10, I will get 1. Okay, let's come on over to this quadrant. If I divide tenths by 10, I will get hundredths. If I divide hundredths by 10, I will get thousandths. If I divide thousandths by 10, I will get 10 thousandths. If I divide hundredths by 10, I will get thousandths. If I divide thousandths by 10, I will get 10 thousandths. If I divide 10 thousandths by 10, I will get 100 thousandths. If I divide thousandths by 10, I will get 10 thousandths. If I divide 10 thousandths by 10, I will get 100 thousandths. If I divide 100 thousandths by 10, I will get millionths. And that is our decimal checkerboard put together with felt squares. I cut them three by three. They're not all perfect, but you get the idea.